Changing users' passwords, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from the show and can spare just a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Hello and welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today we're going to try and hit that one minute mark. We're going to be talking about another impacted tool called SMB Client and one specific feature inside of SMB Client, the change password. Now, normally you wouldn't think about an SMB Client as ability to change the password. You just look at shares and download stuff and put stuff, but we're going to talk about this. So let's look at it. Inside of SMB Client, I'm going to use the actual hash of the user and, and connect. So I'm, I have no idea what the password is. I have I just know the hash. I could have cracked it. I might know it. You know, that 8-8 looks pretty familiar. I, I keep, I keep uh, showing that up. But let's look at the help. So inside of help, there's this great thing called password. Now, if we just type password, it's going to ask us for the new password. We don't know the old one. We can't set it back unless we know it. But we can set it to something new. Hopefully, there's a help desk that will set it for someone. If their password changes, they'll probably just call the help desk and get it reset. So let's try and change it. We're going to change it to super admin one, two, three, bang, bang. Uh, password restriction. So let's set it to something new. And that's it. There's not much to it. Like it just, just knows that it's now set. So if we go out and try and get back in, it's going to say log on failure because we now changed it. So let's see if we can change or connect with that password. Nope, I have no idea what I just set the password to. I accidentally didn't do it. It doesn't verify it, so oh well. We're going to try and keep this to a Metasploit Minute. Make sure that you write down what password you set it to, or you're not going to be able to get logged in. Oh well. So let me know what you think. Email me at msfhack5.org if you know what the password was or could see it. And stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. Huge thanks to all our supporters and everyone who supports us via patreon.com forward slash mubix. Every dollar goes towards making the show even better just for you. I'm very grateful for your support. I hope we got under a minute or close to a minute. So until next time, I'm Hack. And I'm Mubix and I'm Hack until the cows come home. Bye.